So far, we have seen that trapeziums give us a reasonably accurate estimation of the area between a curve and the x-axis. So in this video, I want to formalize that. And rather than me having to work out the area of each trapezium and then adding them all together, I want to have a general formula I can use. And that is the trapezium rule. So I'm going to show you how that is derived. So what I want you to imagine is that we have a curve. And here is the x-axis. OK. And this area is what I want to find. OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to split that up into several strips. So each strip has to be the same width. Now the reason for that is that if they were all of different widths, you can imagine that a formula for this would be horrible. So it makes sense to try and make sure that each strip is of the same width. Now I'm just going to have to probably go a little bit further just to make sure that each strip looks reasonably the same width. I mean, it's not perfect, but I'm doing this freehand. OK, and what we're going to do is rather than have that curved section, I'm going to estimate that by drawing a straight line between those two points. And there, and there, and there. OK. That wasn't very good. There we are. A bit better. Like so. OK. So some of the tops of the trapeziums go above the curve, some go below. And that's perfectly fine. Now, a little bit of language that goes with this. Now, what you need to know is that a pair of coordinates, so we write coordinates as x, y, we refer to the y coordinate here as an ordinate. So you will probably come across this word, ordinate, and it refers to the y coordinate of a pair of coordinates. Now, you might be wondering, OK, well, if that's referred to as the ordinate, what's the x? What does that refer to? Well, that is referred to as the abscissa. So A, B, S, C, I, S, S, A, see the abscissa. So you have the abscissa and the ordinate. Now, I've never seen an exam question or, um, or an exam question anyways, uh, include the word abscissa. So this is a little bit of extra knowledge for you. But ordinates, yes, ordinates have been referred to. So the ordinate is just referring to the y coordinate of your uh, coordinates. So essentially what we can do is we can write down that if we're trying to find the area between x1, that's here, and this would be x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, x7, x8, x9. OK. Then these would be the abscissas, essentially. So you would have x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, x7, and x8. And then you have the y ordinates, or just the ordinates. So this point would have the ordinate y1, and this would be y2, and this would be y3. So these are essentially the heights of each of these strips. This is y4, then you've got y5, then y6, then y7, then y8, and then y9. OK? Now, we don't really need to have x1 going up to x9 there because essentially the widths of our strips are all going to be the same. So we don't need to worry about utilising x1 to x9 there. We could just replace those with h, 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 and h, and they are the widths of our strips because they're all the same. So h here is the width of the strip. So 
So H equals width of strip. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight strips. Whereas we have nine ordinates. Okay, so quite often with a trapezium rule question, it will say um, estimate, estimate using the trapezium rule using eight strips. Or it might say using nine ordinates. Okay, so you need to understand that there's always going to be one more ordinate than there is strip. Okay, or strips. So, what we now want to do is to work out a generalised formula that we could utilise for this. So let's focus in on the area of the first trapezium. Now the area of a trapezium in general is going to be one half times A plus B times H. Where if this is my trapezium, then this is H. This is A, and this is B. Okay, so that would be my formula. So the area of that strip there would be 1 half times by Y1 plus Y2 times by H. That is going to be the area of the first trapezium. Then I'm going to have the area of the second trapezium, so plus one half of y2 plus y3 times h. Then I've got the third trapezium, so one half y3 plus y4 times h. Then I've got the fourth trapezium, so one half times y4 plus y5 times h. Then the next one, so one half y5 plus y6 times h. Then the next one, one half y6 plus y7 times h, plus the next one, one half y7 plus y8 times h, and then the last one, one half y8 plus y9 times h. And this would be the total area. Now, that would be me working out the area of each trapezium and then adding them all together. And I don't want to do this in general. Okay? Now, what's important to note from this is that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trapeziums here. Each of the formulae for each of those areas, they all have one half. So I could factor one half out of all of those. All of them also have an H, so I could factor H out of all of them, okay? And that's going to make my life a little bit easier, so I don't have the one half of the H. So what I'm going to have left is Y1 plus Y2 plus Y2 plus Y3 plus Y3 plus Y4 plus Y4 plus Y5 plus Y5 plus Y6 plus Y6 plus Y7 plus Y7 plus Y8 plus Y8 plus Y9. <sighs> now... You will notice that when you have y1 plus y2 plus y2, each time we had two y2s, we had two y3s, two y4s, two y5s, two y6s, two y7s, two y8s. We've got one of the y1s, we've got one of the y9s. So I could write y1 plus y9. Okay, just single those out. I've only got one of each of those, but I do have two of all the other ones. I've got two of y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, y7, and y8. Okay, so what I've got here is one half h times by the first plus the last ordinate plus two lots of the rest of them. And that is how I remember the trapezium rule. One half times h times the first plus the last plus two lots of the rest. And this is a very easy formula to work with. Now, 
You are given the formula for the trapezium rule in the formula booklet. And um, AQA is one uh, that I'm looking at, will be similar to the ones, uh, if not exactly the same as the ones in uh, the other exam board um, formula booklets as well, formula sheets. And what it says is that the integral between your two limits, A and B, of f of x dx will be approximately equal to 1 half times h times by, so they use a uh, curly bracket here. Now they start counting from y0. Okay, so rather than y is 1, they start with y0. Okay, so y0 is the first term. And you're going up to the nth term. Okay, so yn would be your last term. Plus two lots of the rest. So that would be y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 etc and they go up to the penultimate term which would be one below this one or one before that one would be y n minus one and so this is the formula that you see uh, where h is the width of the strip which can be calculated by taking your upper limit take away your lower limit so B minus A, and dividing it by the number of strips. So N here is the number of strips, and that will be given to you in the question. But remember, it might be the number of strips, or you might be told the number of ordinates. So in our case here, there were nine ordinates, so you would have to know that we would have to subtract one from that and put in N as eight. So nine ordinates, there are eight strips. 10 ordinates, there are 9 strips. 12 ordinates, there are 11 strips, and so on. Okay, And so that is how we can derive the formula for the trapezium rule.